Okay, a few highlights from today in our live trading chat room at greatstockpicks.com. PBI was one that we had on watch. I'm going to take today's candle out of it, kind of show you why. Whenever you have something that's down a few days in a row, and then on the fourth day there, um, you've got a bigger candle on bigger volume. That's possible capitulation to the downside. So we had this on bounce watch, and I went ahead and called it. Let's get the drawing tool going over. Anytime I have a bounce play, in other words, a, a stock that is already down several days in a row, and then I get uh, what I really want is a little tight base right below the high of the day. Um, I love to play that base break because you already have a stock that's beaten up, and if it breaks its high, they might start piling in. Okay, um, so you already have that going for you. Um, let me get my tool going here, and then uh, if you get this base break, there's a good chance this little tight. You'd see it better if I had two minute candles on there, but uh, it's a good chance that this base break can get you through the high of the day and then other people can start to pile in and, and look at if you bought the base break like we teach right here stop right here okay uh, trigger 1916 um, stop was at 19 even it could have even been tighter you know it could have been 1905 or something but um, if you bought that base break look what happens it, it, it takes off the pullback never makes you worry never comes back to your entry and then you just ride it up all day um, if you buy the high of day break right here Okay, so say you, you jump in right here, next thing you know, about 10-15 uh, minutes later, you're underwater and maybe selling, only to watch it run all day. So I love a little base with the high of day to the left, and uh, if I use twos, too many candles, you can kind of see the base better. See it right there? 1916 was the idea, and it uh, certainly worked great. So, you know, there's a, there's a kind of a trick, I don't want to say a trick, but there's a method we use often in our chat room when we've got something down several days in a row. I always hope that it gives me a nice little tight base with the high of day to, you know, near the high of the day, but below it, rather than having to take a high of day break. Um, rig was getting killed today. Uh, and on this push down here, it started to get my attention, called it, I was projecting it live, um, called it a 4902 using a method I teach. Um, and it went quickly to 5006 in about uh, 15 minutes. So a nice trade there and again, um, we always sell into a spike. You can see if you held it all day, you ended up underwater, but uh, who's gonna turn her back on a quick dollar move in 15 minutes? Um, Foster Wheeler is another one of those uh, that was down, let me take today's candle out of it, down four days in a row, big volume yesterday, so it was another one we had on Bounce Watch. Um, and this one, I didn't have a base below the high of the day, I went ahead and called this uh, over this base, which was at the low of the day. Um, I'd let that first 30 minutes go by, and 1912 was the idea. And uh, you can see that one went all the way up to um, 2029 at one point. So nice one there. And that was about it for the day. Um, had some other, uh, gave a suggestion, an Abercrombie that uh, paid uh, maybe a dollar a share. Um, mentioned Walgreens right here on this double bottom. And I think that was about it for the day. Um, I, I guess I could have called more because the market was so strong, but you had the gap up, the pullback, and again, if you sit on your hands for the first 30 minutes, I think uh, generally you'll find some nice setups for them. Uh, SPY, uh, what I said in the chat room today was it's possible, you, know, you had this huge move on the SPY uh, when it broke down out of this range. Um, what a snapback, all the way through the top of the range. I never would have predicted that, um, but then it came back down to somewhere near the highs of that range. Um, and then back up. So what I'm telling people is it might just be starting a new a new range, right? Between here and here. And right now we're right in the middle of it with the jobs number, uh, employment number coming out in the morning. Uh, we'll probably gap one way or another, but who knows? Um, interesting, interesting trading lately. Um, as always, I'm just being super careful and waiting for low risk setups. And uh, if you're patient in this market, um, I think you'd be happy. Uh, to me, it requires a lot of patience. I'm not a, I'm not a guy that's lucky enough to just uh, jump in something in the first five minutes and get away with it. So I've got to let things, uh, you know, set up, and that's that's what I teach. It's it's been serving us pretty well. All right, I'm not going to babble anymore. We'll talk to you later. Have a good night.